Hey, welcome back to another workout. Hope you've been enjoying the workout so far. Um, quick before we start, I tell this in the end of the video usually, but I'll say it right now uh, real quick, just in case you missed it, you stopped early every time. Uh, we're doing this, of course, trying to make some money because we can't work right now, but also uh, part of the money we raise, um, we try to help people that need it. We're doing this uh, with an organization called Traktir Satutuman, which means uh, treat one person. Um, they give out free meals and uh, through the people that have donated, we've already been able to uh, give out 200 meals and uh, we hope to be able to keep doing that. So um, if you're wondering about that, uh, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how, to, uh, how you're able to donate to us and uh, help us out there. All right, so getting ready for our next uh, workout. We're just going to get started with the warm-up and during the warm-up I'm going to explain the workout to you because I want to get moving, I don't just want to be talking all the time. So make sure you're ready, find your spot, um, everything is pretty much on the spot so you should be okay. I'm going to turn up some music and we're just going to get started straight away. Alright, you're going to get started jogging on the spot, nice and relaxed, just get your body ready to move. Now, like I said, today's workout, I'm going to explain it right now. What we are doing is we're going to alternate strength and cardio, so slow movement and fast movement because it's all body weight. This sounds familiar because we've done something like this before, but we're doing it a little bit different. Every move, every set of moves, we do for one minute. Now, for example, we might take a squat. Now, we do a slow squat, so there's a lot of tension on the, on the muscles, so that would be the strength part. Then we go over into jump squats. So I'll might tell you five slow squats, then five jump squats. For one minute, you're going to keep alternating. In the warm-up, let's go. Heels up, butt kicks. So same thing with every move, all right? Some moves might be the same move, and you do a different version of it, a fast and slow one. And some moves, it might be different. So if we do, for example, push-ups, most people, including me, I cannot push up for one minute straight if I go slow and then fast, it's gonna to be too much. So for the push-ups, let me see, we're doing push-ups and we're standing up for punches. So the push-ups are slow, there's a strength, and the punches will be fast, all right? We'll be working for one minute every time every move, and then we've got 30 seconds break. So we've got big breaks this time. Sometimes we have workouts with barely any break. We've got big breaks now, so you're lucky, and that gives me time to explain the next one. We are gonna do this for 10 moves. So 10 minutes of work. Then when we're done, we're gonna do everything again backwards. So the move we just finished with, we're gonna do again, and we're gonna come back to the start. So 20 moves. So if you don't count the warm up, exactly 20 minutes of work, if you do every second. Let's go for some high knees. All right, so 20 minutes of work, 30 seconds break in between every time and a little break after the 10 moves before, before we switch it over. So the actual workout part, again, excluding this part, should be about half an hour, a little bit more. We're gonna take our time, do this warm up, have a little bit of a stretch, and then we'll get started. Let's go for jumping jacks. We'll move forward a little bit so I don't hit the arena here. That's nice music to get on. So take it easy, this is the warm up, you don't have to get tired here. It's all about movement, get everything moving, get your heart rate up. Alright, keep going. I'm just going to tell you the next move, what we're going to do, we're going to get our right knee to our chest 20 times. And then switch over to our left knee straight away, starting in three, two, let's go, right knee. That's 10. Eight, nine, and switch. Eight, nine, 
intent and keep moving. Just nice and relaxed, keep moving. We're gonna swing both arms forward, let's go. Now, as you might know, I come from a Taekwondo background, so this movement here is very natural to me. If it's really awkward for you, you can just stand here and move like this if you want. No problem. It's your warm up. Let's go backwards. And next, let's get our elbows up and twist your hips. So the elbows go the opposite direction of your hips. Twisting that spine. Not too hard, just nice. Loosening it up. And stop it there. Shake it off. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of a stretch. I'll get you started and I'll turn on the music. Get your feet about shoulder width. And we're just going to hang down nice and relaxed. So everybody hanging down back home. I'll turn down the music. So hanging down nicely. Walk your hands forward. Palms on the floor. I'll go sideways. Palms on the floor. Not here. Back straight. Push your chest towards your knees. Push your heels down, relax your head. Pushing your heels down, you feel this lower part of your leg, leg your calves. And from here, dive. I'm gonna get a little bit more space. Dive through your hands, upper body up. Relax it down. Try to keep those shoulders nice and low. Hips down, chest out. You want to look up and extend the move a little bit, makes it a little bigger. Whatever feels nice to you, it's not a competition. If you just want to be here, that's fine. I'm going to get down with my upper body, put my legs in a wide stance, and push myself up into that wide stance. From here, put your left hand under your face, and I like to have them on my fingers, so not all the way down, because then my back is down, as you can see. Up here, my back is almost straight. And from here, I rotate it open. Arm up. And I push my knuckles back. Some people do this. It's not about how far your hand gets. Now my body's not twisting. There, open up your body. That's what this is about. That's what's important. And switch. So now your right hand, or left, depending on which one you started. Under. Hands on the floor. I want you to jump your feet together. Straighten your legs once more. We're hanging down still. We're going to slightly bend our knees and we're going to roll all the way up. Okay. So, like I said, every move we're doing for one, sorry, motorbike. Every move we're doing for one minute, we have a strength version. So, I'm going to show you, for example, we do the squats. Try to power moves where possible. Try to go down for two or three seconds. So if you go squat, we're going down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up, okay? You can um, load your muscles by doing something with more weight, but also if you go slower, it's also more straining the muscles. So that'll get you into your strength workout more, uh, even though it's just body weight. Try to get that discipline. So then from there, we do a five, and then we get into up, jump squats, and that's about fast, so getting your heart rate up. Of course, this one is still hard on the legs. Now, I every time before we go, I'll tell you the ratio of moves. So squat, jump squat, I'll tell you five, five. If you're at home, and if you feel the number I'm giving you is not right for you, you can change it up. If you feel like, hey, uh, for example, for the push-ups and punches, I've got it down for three push-ups, 30 punches, if you feel like I want to work on my upper body more, maybe you do five push-ups. Maybe you do six, seven, eight, however many push-ups you want, and then get up, shake it off. However, keep in mind it's one minute. Um, it's a long time to work, so that's why I've got the numbers low. Also, for push-ups or other uh, moves that are hard, if you have a hard time with regular push-ups, 
You can put your knees on the floor, do it from here. Just from your knees to your shoulders is one straight line, so you're never here. Up, you will be here. Other than that, you should be fine if you've done our workouts before. I believe, I believe there's only one move we have not really done before. Everything else is pretty basic, so it's just a different format for you to get uh, for your change. All right. Um, get yourself ready if you need a drink, have a drink. If you want to use your towel, use your towel. And then we will get started with the first 10 sets. Okay. So this one, we don't have the time run yet. I can explain to you slow. Every other move I will explain to you in 30 seconds. So just after the bell goes, after you're done with your one minute, pay close attention. I'm going to start straight away because sometimes uh, 30 seconds is not that much time yet to explain. Okay, so we're starting with the squat. If you haven't done it before, which seems unlikely, but still, from here, I want you not to start thinking down, I want you to start thinking butt back, okay? Because you do not want your knees past your feet. So butt back, create that space, butt back, chest front, and up can be one. So we're going one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. So like I said, it's your thing. If you want to go two, that's okay, but try to really slow it down, really get those muscles working. We're doing that for five, and then from here we're going up, up, five jump squats. Now the jump squats naturally are faster because you're landing. However, it doesn't mean you have to go super fast. Control your weight down here so you're stable. Up, up, before you jump again, okay? Um, I think straight away this is gonna be a hard one and other ones are gonna get even harder. Try to push for that one minute. You've got 30 seconds break, okay? Get ready, I'll turn on the timer. We'll get started. Right, we are starting in five seconds now, starting with the slow squats. Five, then five jump squats. If you want a different number, you do that. Let's go. One, two, three, up. Three, up. Four, five, five jump squats. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, up. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. Five seconds, one more. Up and break, 30 seconds, okay. You've got a timer in your screen, so you can pay attention. We're going for push-ups. Three push-ups, one, two, three, up. However you want to make it tough on yourself, then you're gonna stand up quick, hands up, punch in front of you, from your chin, all the way out. No hip movement, upper body, as fast as you can. I said 30 punches, if it's hard for you to count, go around 30, it's not an exact time. Three push-ups first. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, get up. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. If you're slower, that's okay. because here the timing is going to be different. You might be slower or faster. Take your time on the push-up. Three seconds down. Really fight to keep the body straight. Ten seconds. So just the push-ups left probably. enough to get a little bit of burn there. Single leg squat, split squat, Bulgarian squat, whatever you want to call it. So, one leg in front. I don't go forward. I go one, two, three, up. Same like the squats. Five, then five jumps. One leg only. Next round is the other leg. This one, you are definitely going to feel. Three, two, I'll face you. She's sideways. 
Let's go. One, two, three, one. Two, push from your heel. Three, two, four, five. Let's jump. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Ah, oh, you took a break. Go straight down in there. Two, this one is tough. Three, four, five. Let's go. One, two, three. Again, you can follow our pace or go at your own pace. One more. And we've got 10 seconds left. Ah! Oh, we've got time for one more. One, two, three. Oh, woo, that one leg. Again, this is a coincidence. I didn't really think about it that much before, but one minute. Perfect for me to really get tired, but no failure, all right? Depends on where you are. Some people it might be easy, some people it might be hard. Think about what you're doing. Because remember, the last round, or the second round, sorry, we do everything backwards. If everything comes back again, you want to do the same, or you want to change it up. Two, one, other leg. Let's go. One, two, one. Two, three, take your time. Four. Ah, here we go.
you get the knee and put your hip down. So if that's too hard, put it down and from here. Yeah, that's fine as well. Staying up is really the Superman way. Uh, five seconds. Harder yourself, and it's okay to put it down for one. Okay, I didn't to explain it to you, but honestly, I could use my hips on the floor for a little bit there. I was tired. And remember, we've got another round of these later. We are at number six out of ten right now. Two, one, let's go. Five, in, back, in, your own pace, I might be going fast, I don't know. I need one on the floor. Woo. I want to finish one strong one. Come on. much you can do four but an even number I push up right left down then left right okay so even number then 20 mountain climbers so run your knees into your chest in two one let's go you can do this on your knees if you want so up up that's one two three four five Oh, and I need to do seven because I need to get up. 20 mountain climbers, let's go. Ooh, two seconds, and let's go. 25 seconds left. One, I gotta go a little bit faster to make the time. Two, three, four, five, six, ah. Oh. 10 seconds. And 20. I hate plank. You can see that me having a hard time. All right. Arms out of break into legs, number nine. From your knees, step into a deep squat. So from here, 90 degrees, up, Sit down again, alternate stepping with your legs. Six times, then get down, run 40 steps. It's hard to keep count, try your best. Let's go, from here. Stay down, keep your butt down. Come down here, three, four, five, Six, stay here, stay here, and run. 40, let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm not sure that counts right, but try. One. Let's go. Five. Break. 
One more to go, then we have a break. Burpees. Three slow, five fast. Slow burpee, looks like this. We're gonna get down. Hands on the floor. Step, step. You can stay here or you can do a push up, up to you. Step back into your squat. Stand up, that's all. Fast burpee is with a jump. And still up to you, go into plank or lie your body down. Three slow, five fast. Let's go. Hands, step, step. I do a push up. And I've just decided I'm gonna do two push up for two. The third one, no push up. The arena is. Five normal burpees, let's go. One. Up to your hands overhead or low. Five. Down to slow. Get up. Let's go. Five burpees. Five. Breathe. I'm going to give you a big break because after that we start again with the burpees. We go backwards. You're going to need your break. Take it. Okay? I'm not gonna keep the camera on, but just pause the video until you feel you're ready. And ready means you're ready to do it. Ready does not mean I'm fully relaxed. I caught my breath again, okay? All right, all right. So getting into the second round, we're flipping it upside down. <clears throat> we're also flipping it sideways. So instead of starting with the slow move and everything, with the power move, we're starting with the faster move, with the cardio move. So we're starting with five regular burpees, okay? Um, Quick few things, you're still breathing hard, so you're okay with this break. <clears throat> First of all, this is an excellent uh, weight loss fat burner workout because the more muscle you have, the more uh, you burn throughout the day. Your basic calorie need is higher, yeah? So strength really helps with losing, losing weight. Plus, we're getting our heart rates high. Heart rate high means in the moment you're burning a lot. So we're burning a lot now, and doing stuff like this, you'll get some more muscle you'll keep burning for a longer time. Now, I'm gonna say ladies, I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna say ladies, because I know a lot of ladies don't do the push-up because they feel like, oh, they're gonna get all big. Now, look at Darina. Darina's not all big, all right? Darina did all the push-ups in here, I just did. When we do workouts without you guys, Darina almost does all the upper body arm exercises I do. She's working on doing pull-ups, she does all the push-ups, she just bicep curls, everything. She's not Frankenstein, she doesn't get big ass arms. It doesn't happen that quick, okay? It's different in your body. Men just develop muscles faster, okay? So don't be scared. There's a lot of girls, oh, but I know my body. Well, maybe don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's not gonna happen that fast, especially here. How much push-ups did we, did we actually do, okay? Not that much because it went slow. So try to go with it. <clears throat> try to push yourself because actually feeling stronger makes you feel more powerful that feels natural but it gives you confidence and everything so being a little bit stronger is okay and for me personally a little bit of muscle definition on a woman I think is very attractive better than a skinny woman who looks good but everything is sloppy <laughs> I hope you don't mind my humor there <laughs> if you do I hope you do enjoy my workout just forget what I just said okay um so starting with the burpees <clears throat> my voice is going a little bit still three slow five fast but we're starting with the five fast then we're going into the slow burpees i'm going to turn on the timer and from there we're just going to go all the way yeah let's go starting in 15 seconds and i told you in other videos there's many ways to do a burpee hands overhead push up Anyone you like, but don't keep looking down and get yourself in a spot before you jump up. Two, one, let's go. Five, nice and slow. Up, up, up. Squat, up. I'm just gonna do two 
with the push-up. Because I know everything that's coming. Serena, it's not. Five fast, let's go. Finish up. Ten seconds. Oh. We did extra one, last one. Let's turn down the music a little bit. Good job. In 20 seconds, we're starting with the 40 dribbles, around 40. I lose count, so I imagine you might as well. And then knees to squat, six of those. And if that wasn't right for you, change the numbers. <clears throat> Five, three, two, one, let's go. 20, 30, 40. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Let's get ready. Let's go. Ten. Twin. Thirty. Forty. Two. Stay low. Three. Four. Ready? Run, eight seconds. Five. Woo! We did more than last round if you kept up with us. Same here. Mountain climbers first, 20. Then the elbow to hands. And then we do the side plank. Oh, I think the way back is going to be harder because you have less energy and those are just hard. Who comes up with this stuff? Starting in five seconds with 20 mountain climbers. That should not be too tough. One, let's go. Six of these, oh my God. Why are you beating me? side in the first round, start on your right side because even though you're on one side, both sides are working so probably the next one will be not as well as good as the first one you do. How much? Five for five. Let's go. Stay up. Ah! 
did all of them so far in the air. Hats off to you. You should be making videos, be making videos for me, not the other way around. If you barely ever do these, oh my God, you're gonna feel them in the next few days. These are not muscles you use that often. So working them out hard now. Ah, oh, we start from knee. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. That's why Dorina's here. Keep me honest. Let's go. See, starting from knee is a trick. Because then you feel, oh, I can do this. But then you have to do these off the floor. Uh, uh, I'm weak. Uh, oh, this is so nice. Uh, uh, to be nice with you and arena mess it up it's her fault oh, leg races and bicycles for me leg races are easy so this is really kind of a break and the bicycles are only 20 try I made a mistake in the first one real quick knock your hands behind you on the bicycle hands next to you we start with 20 bicycles start with the fast one three two chest up let's go So even though you're tired, keep your head up. Five of these, right? Yeah. Here, down first, and then get up. Ah, 20. Ah, we're halfway there. Flick squat, Bulgarian squat, whatever you want to call it. So, in the first round, you started on your right leg, then you went to your left leg, now start left leg, then go right leg. Uh, and we start with the jumps. Secret, starting with the hardest ones is our idea. Two, one, start with the jumps. Let's go. And one, two, three. Even though you're tired, don't let that knee go forward. Let's go, five jumps. Ah, five. Oh, I was supposed to go down straight away. Watch out with the knee on the floor, okay? We've got mats so we can do it. Especially on the jumps. Three. Two, let's jump. Ah, one, two, three, up, one, two, two, three, four. Give me two jumps, let's go. One, two, and I'll give you a break. Woo! Oh my God. My butt. 20 seconds. Other leg, and we only have two more exercises to go. Start with the jumps, other leg. I'm on left, I don't know where you are. Two. Let's go jump.
Ha! One, two. Ha! Three. Four. Five. Let's go. One, two, three. Hold on, rest here. Ha! One. Starting in 20 seconds, 30 punches, then get down to three push ups. You're out of breath, you're tired, but don't, because of that, don't start cheating on the push ups. Feel how, how, how tired your arms and chest is, yeah? Arms are and chest is. 30 punches. Oh, two, one, let's go. 20. Woo, three push ups, slow. Last one. If your legs feel like mine, but now you're thinking I can't do this. Yes, you can. Try to go five and five. I'm broken, and in between, if you want to break, take a break there. Starting in five seconds, five jump squats. Two. Let's go. Five. One. Two, three, two, three, four, three, two, let's go. Ah, one, two, up, two. I'm gonna turn down the music. I bet in the first round you thought, oh, those slow squats aren't that bad. But I bet when we came back to it, they were hard. Yeah. Very nice one. Really loading those muscles because we did everything twice. And you're going fast and slow. Really getting some quality work in there if we're talking body weight. Okay. Uh, very nice if you finish this all the way without breaking. Maybe you did better than we did. All the more power to you, keep it up. Show me your workout. <clears throat> now, I'll talk real quick because like I said before, I don't want to stretch away the way, especially now. Those legs, those fibers are together. They want to be here. We're not going to pull them apart straight away. That's how we create a lot of damage, okay? So I'll do my talk real quick. Then we'll do more some loosening up than actual stretches. If you really want to stretch, 
take a walk for five minutes. Make sure your legs don't sit still because then they're gonna stiffen up more. But keep them moving, moving slowly, yeah? Even if you just sit, you keep doing this or this, that is all right, okay? You want that tension off before you start stretching. So before that, I told you in the beginning of the video uh, about the donations helping us because we can't work and helping people through Traktir Shatu Tuman. Uh, 10,000 rupiah is one free meal. So put that in perspective in Europe for a euro, that's about 60 to 65 cents depending on the exchange rate. Um, in Australia, that's just one dollar. In America, I'm not that current, might be 80 cents, 70 cents. So basically, it's nothing. And every single meal helps, okay? And please, if you're donating, think about how many meals you're giving, but also start thinking about how many meals do you need per day, okay? So I'm not pressuring you into anything, but I feel necessity, two meals, right? If you're not eating anything else because you're that poor, because you can't afford it right now, two meals. So 20,000, so one and a half euros, and I'm not gonna do all the other exchange rates, but help somebody for an entire day. So put that in your calculation. And if you're able to live your normal life now, maybe like we're trying to do, let go of some luxuries and help out people that actually need it. Like what do you actually need? Okay, sorry about the guilt trip. <laughs> Didn't mean that just got into my story. Um, so if you do want to help us, um, you can do that uh, several ways I'm gonna tell you now. You can do that via PayPal. If you are on your computer, um, it's really easy. You can go, you're in my YouTube channel now. So on the channel in the banner, there's three icons, a Facebook, an Instagram, and a blank square. If you click on the blank square, it'll direct you to the PayPal page and everything will uh, show itself from there. If you're not on your computer, but you still wanna pay with PayPal, you can go into your browser, you type in paypal.me slash migblakeroda. I'll have that in the screen so you can see how to do that. Um, if you wanna pay with credit card, I believe you can do the same things I just told you, and then don't say sign up, but just keep clicking and whatever, and eventually I believe there's an option. Maybe it's just on computer, maybe not on your phone, I'm not sure, but there is an option uh, that says, uh, I want to pay with my credit card, I don't have PayPal, something like that. Now, uh, if you just want to do a bank transfer, we're from different countries, and we know a lot of people from different countries around here as well, so there's a good chance um, we can do it via bank transfer without any extra cost, because there's a person that has a bank account in your country as well. Uh, last but not least, I have a blockchain wallet, so cryptocurrency is very welcome as well. Um, easy and also almost no transfer fee just some uh, administrative fee so I believe that is a good option as well so if you're still here we're just gonna loosen up some parts okay so we're not actually stretching stretching would mean the muscle really stretching it out so making it long I don't want to do that right now because I feel my muscles are still working from the last workout so I'm gonna loosen up which you mostly means joints and spine and, and uh, stuff like that. Now you're gonna get some muscle stretch in there, but not too much and that's not our main focus. I just wanna be nice and loose so I don't stiffen up as fast is my belief right now. So, how I wanna start is we're gonna lie down on our bellies. We're gonna have my left arm out to the side and my right hand is here on the floor next to my chest. Now I'm gonna push with my right hand, rolling over my left shoulder. So I'm opening up. Now, if you feel that here, that's enough. You don't have to go further. You want to step over, that's fine. I've said this before. Some people like to go here. I don't like that now because you're bringing those muscles together with, uh, which increases the chance of a cramp. Now, that's not something you don't want right now. I'm not saying it's not a good stretch, but not right now when your muscles are so tight. Roll over. Okay. And come back to center. And we're gonna get on our hands and knees. Hop, I'm gonna do it here, Dorina sideways so you can see her. My knees are right under my hips, my hands are under my shoulders, so a nice table. I'm gonna breathe in through my nose, I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna hollow out my back, and I'm gonna tighten my back muscles a little bit. Then I'm gonna breathe out, I'm gonna push my spine towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna tighten my abs. And your own pace, in and out. 
in through my nose, bring your head up and down, it extends the move. And your shoulders stay nice and low. So you feel this, the tension in your back, you try to loosen that up, but also you're still squeezing those muscles a little bit. So this is a stretch, but also you're still working that core and a little bit extra core work is not a bad thing. All right, I'm gonna straighten out my feet like Marina already has. I'm gonna sit my butt on top of my heels, arms in front of me, I'm gonna relax down. And this for me is not about as far as I can, I stretch as hard as I can though. Relaxing down, sinking into the floor every time I breathe out. Relax my body. Try to get your butt down on your heels, so don't get your butt up in the air. Sit yourself down. Now I'm gonna bring my right hand over to the right, and then I'm gonna grab it with the left. And the reaching one, the left one, that, that's the one that's working. Don't roll over, keep your body straight, and get down. And switch. <clears throat> this, after the side plank, this is a very nice move to do. And release, okay. I'm gonna lie down on my back. Here, so I'm not pointing my butt towards you. So from here, I'm hugging my knees into my chest, and I don't want you to lie down. I want you to get your head in between your legs so I feel my back is rounding out so I'm tightening my abs a little bit and from here I can roll like I'm slightly massaging my back on the floor. I'm not actually massaging of course and massage is the benefit is a whole other discussion. Many contradictive research, research uh, papers about that. All right from here arms have to the side yet again and my legs go straight up. Arms out to the side, and I'm gonna roll both my knees to the right. Now it's not about how deep my knees go, it's about keeping my shoulder blades on the floor and then relaxing this. <clears throat> so it is twisting my spine. So I can be here easy, but then my shoulder blade's not on the floor. So push that shoulder blade on the floor and just let the knees hang pretty much. And release, roll over to the opposite side. Yeah. Now for me personally, I really enjoy these twisting moves. It feels nice to me, it feels relaxing and like I'm loosening up again, especially after I did uh, rotating stuff, like kicks after fighting, I like to really release this. However, sometimes when I work it too much and then I twist, I develop a cramp. Because of course, if something stretches, something else has to come closer together. So if you got that, just stop, don't force it, yeah? The cramp, even though you might have it often or not often, that can be dangerous. If you get too much, you can actually damage your muscles. All right, get your legs up. Last one. <clears throat> legs are wide. <clears throat> my arms go inside my knees, grab the outsides of my feet, and I pull my knees next to me. Now look at my lower back. I'm not on the floor with it. I pull, and my butt comes higher, actually. And that way, I feel I'm stretching my lower back as well, which is a really difficult area to reach. So that's why I enjoy this one. And also when you're pulling it down, you feel it all the way here, around your butt, your groin. Nice stretch, even though it doesn't look the most charming. But it's also really fun to do in a group class and see 20, 30 people do this at the same time. And stop it there. Close your legs, let it down. You can stay on the floor. You can get up. If you're tired of my voice, I suggest you get up and turn off the video because if you just let it go, it'll go into my next video and you'll hear me again. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And like I believe I said in the last video, if you have any requests, uh, anything you want us to do, um, please tell us and um, I'll, I'll make a video, maybe especially for you, or I'll just make a public video which has your suggestions in it. I try to change it up all the time. But of course, there's only so much material, and if there's something you really want me to focus on, uh, do that. Like the last video, we did a hip fitness, however, we did mostly lower body. A friend of ours, uh, she requested it. Easy for us to do. It's also, you know, I can think of a lot, but it's also really nice, of course, to get a lot of uh, new input. Or if you liked a certain video and you want a similar one, 
Um, you can tell us as well, and we'll make the same one, maybe with different moves or uh, whichever way you prefer. All right. Have a nice morning, day, night, whenever you're doing this. Good job for doing this, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.